Shalom family. So what I'm about to do today is show y'all how to uh, make some seed starting mix. Instead of buying the brands like Jiffy, uh, Burpee. I've seen a lot of people uh, buy their own seed, uh, start their own seed starting mix and really has some, it was actually cheaper for them and it, they actually seen better success as far as like starting their crops off or starting their seeds off. Okay. So, you know, usually with the the Jiffy C starting mix, you got a couple of things in here. Um, if you can read here, it says California, Georgia, and all other states maintains 50, 60 sphagnum peat moss, vermiculite, corcopith, uh, and lime for pH balance, okay? So, basically, this t it tells you what's in there. And with these bags, you're going to pay... Four to five dollars, maybe six or seven dollars a bag. So what I did, okay, is uh, I have some leftover vermiculite from last season. Okay, I got this from Home Depot, and what vermiculite does, if you can see it here, okay, fine coarse vermiculite. But what vermiculite does is keeps the soil aerated and keeps the soil moist. Okay, I have peat moss. Okay, that keeps. Uh, water in there as well okay and what i'm gonna add in additional to it i'm gonna add earthworm castings okay all right so it says lime so i'm gonna add garden lime in there as well organic garden lime okay so basically how you want to do it is you want to maybe like a a 311 three uh, I'm going to use these cups since I'm just going to plant some kale today. So you're going to use maybe three to four cups of peat moss. Okay. You want to use one cup of vermiculite. And you want to use one cup of the soil enrichner. Okay. And then I'm going to use maybe a quarter of a cup of the garden lime to get that started. So let me get everything ready. And I'm going to show you how it looks. All right. So. We got all three ingredients. We got the peat moss. We got the vermiculite. We use three cups of vermiculite. Okay. I'm mean, uh, three cups of peat moss, excuse me. One cup of vermiculite. Okay. And then we use one, one and a half cup of the uh, worm, worm castings. Okay. So you can see the differences in here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, the pH balance, the peat moss makes the pH balance kind of high. So I'm just going to take just a half a handful of garden lime to balance that, balance that pH balance. Okay. And since we're playing greens today, uh, you can even use uh, a little bit of this if you want. I got this from Eco Scraps Organic Gardening Leafy. Uh, greens and herbs, plant food, okay? You don't have to do that, but you can. Just sprinkle a little bit, okay? So now, what you want to do, any kind of peat moss, okay? What you want to do, you want to get some warm water, okay? Or warm water, let me turn the water on. Yeah, warm water or really hot water, and you want to mix that all together. And the reason why you want to do that is just in case if there's any kind of uh, insect eggs because even though it's in a compressed bag okay you want to make sure that pretty much everything hopefully everything like insects and uh, their eggs is killed off so you want to use really hot water people use uh, boiling water it goes hand in hand and you can actually do that and mix that up so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to mix it up with the hot water and we'll show you how it looks afterwards all right, so we mixed everything together, and uh, that's the vermiculite, the peat moss, and the worm castings, okay? And I put a handful of uh, garden lime in there, okay? So you want to get it mixed in very well, and uh, you want to make it look like a, uh, you want to add some water, you want to make it look like a crumbling brownie, so not really moisture coming out, and then it'll break up like that. Okay, so um, I'm about to start some kale and stuff today, so I'm going to use this and see what the difference is between what I've actually started a couple of weeks ago. Okay, bok choy, 
my onions and I'm waiting for my other onions to come up which they really haven't came up yet so uh, I guess we're gonna try to figure that out but anyway but yeah so uh, we're gonna do it with this and uh, see how that goes um, it's inexpensive uh, one uh, just one time um, pretty much a bag of this peat moss is like 10 bucks compressed bag this is 2.2 cubic feet 33 pound bag and then this was a bag of vermiculite that i got from um home depot for like 20 bucks so that'll put you at 30 garden line was like six um and then the soil enriching i actually got that from walmart that was like like five five bucks so let's say 35 with tax, I don't know, state, local taxes, if you even have that. 35, 40 bucks compared to spending six, seven dollars a bag. So let's say that's five, 10, 50, that's 20. And then I just use the bag. So around 25, 30 bucks. But these are only eight quarts, as you can see on there. Not a really whole lot. So compared to making a whole bunch of seed star mix. Compared to just one bag for like six or seven bucks, maybe five, depending on where you're at. So, about to plant these, um, these kale. I'm going to start my kale off today. So, with that, I say shalom. This is Azalea the Garden. We're growing back to basics, y'all.